Hello, everyone. It's Mike Schoonover with the 812 Living Group at Keller Williams Realty. As you consider buying a home or you've already started down that journey, one of the questions that we get asked most frequently by our clients is, how much will my property taxes be? So I wanted to spend a couple of minutes answering that question for you. Okay, so how much will your property taxes be? There's a couple of things to take a look at here. In Indiana, we are one of the rare states who pays our taxes in arrears. So when you're making a payment in 2022, it's for uh, when you lived or owned the house in 2021. So you're paying this year for last year's ownership. The counties and the state work together to assess the values of the property. So each year you're going to get a statement of what the assessed value or the total valuation of your property is. Here's a sample report card from Southern Indiana. So you'll see it's made up of the land value, the improvements, which is generally the house and or garage, if his garage is separate, and they come up with a total valuation. That is the value that they're going to tax your property on. For the last several years, since say 2012, property values have been slowly increasing from year to year. Taxes will rise. In past years, we've had periods where values have dropped and taxes subsequently fall. But that is the assessed value that can change from year to year. Now, the other thing that the state of Indiana enacted several years ago is tax caps. They want to they want to cap the amount of taxes you pay as a property owner so that as the property values rise, you don't get blindsided with these huge tax swings. So the property tax for a homestead, so someone who owns a home and lives in it is capped at 1% of the assessed value. Other residential properties, generally that's gonna be an investor who buys a property, rents it out, or even a second home, those taxes are capped at 2%. Agriculture and agricultural and farmland also capped at 2%. And then other real property uh, would be capped at 3%. So you do have a cap there on what you will pay each year. More good news. Uh, the state of Indiana allows for property tax exemptions. These exemptions can decrease the amount of taxes you pay annually by 40%, sometimes even more. You have to make sure that you file them, but the most common ones are listed here. Homestead, supplemental, or, and mortgage are the three most common for people who buy and live in the property that they're buying. Homestead, supplemental, and mortgage exemptions, when filed, can reduce, like we said, that annual, annual property tax amount that you pay by 40% or more. Uh, disabled veterans get an additional exemption over the age of 65. There are some other less common ones that can ultimately could add up to taking your total tax obligation down to zero. But again, those three big ones, homestead, supplemental, and mortgage, if you're living in the home, can significantly decrease the amount of taxes you pay annually. So those are very important. Finally, there is a tax estimator. If you say, hey, I'd, I'd really like to know close to the dollar amount what I would pay for a home that I'm buying or the home that I live in now, you can go to the state tax calculator. If you just Google state of Indiana tax calculator or tax estimator, it will take you here. You can follow these links and it will give you a pretty close idea based on the formula that we talked about with the assessed value and the tax caps, also factors in your county what you would be looking at uh, in paying on property taxes annually for your home, for your, for your property, the one you're looking to buy. If you have other questions on that, email us at 812living at gmail.com, 812living at gmail.com. We'd be happy to help answer your questions.